What's going on, fellas? Welcome back to the day trading series back on Monday for episode 104. Guys, it is officially spooky season. For two reasons. One, Halloween is at the end of the week. And this week we have Apple earnings, Amazon, Shopify, Google, Microsoft, Meta. I'm extremely nervous to trade it. But before we get into the trades, you guys, just another massive thank you for showing love on the last video. Over 900 subs. You guys are unreal. So if you guys are new here, hit the sub button, hit the like, drop a comment, and let's get on that road to 1K. You guys are averaging me like a thousand views a video now. So I mean, you guys are unreal. Thanks again. And yeah, guys, without further ado, let's get into these trades. It's going to be a wild week. Let's go. And we are open. Tesla just right out of the gates, bro. Jeez, if Tesla wants to play along, reject that monthly support, go back down. I mean, that's a wicked trade. Ivy just shot up like a rocket. It actually might want to do it. I'm in there. I think we can get the move. A lot of open interest just got in here. Come on, let's get the drop. We got the candle under a candle. The flag is right there to break. Here we go. Drop that. I'm going to sell one. All right, sell one more. That was a nerve-wracking trade. There it is. All right, Tess. Big break now. Since it's a Monday, I'm going to take profits down here. I'm not going to want to hold this for very much longer. Boom! $90 to start the week. That feels great. You know, Microsoft with an interesting play. I mean, look at that. Break and retest. Uh, I might want to do an ORB up and then maybe hit that 247 up here. I mean, that's clean as a whistle. And now we're moving up very strongly in the market. I'm going to take two here. It took out all of its price action the day has had so far in one candle. So looking for that to continue. Do an ORB up, get through this level. Nice. I want to sell one if we get into that. Join the ask as we get into that level. Nice. Got out one. Beautiful. Microsoft going ham right now. I don't think this will fail. I think we go higher. We just got to close strong here. Look at this move, guys. Candles green on the one hour now. This thing's screaming higher. So is the market. I'll sell once we break the pre-market high. Pre-market high is right at 245.17. I don't like that wick. The bullenders are kind of stuffing it. All right, you know what? I'm going to take profit. That's fine with me. Look at that. Day turned to 180. Good stuff here. Well, this looks fire. If we can get like a, an actual strong candle, this looks insane. But I don't like the candle under a candle fail and then an absolutely giant pop back up. Oh, yeah, that's spooky. That's spooky right there. Unless this comes all the way back down, in which case I might take a play. I'm going to take one. Just one quick scalp looking for Tesla to break the lows. Possibly hit 200. Just let me get a quick scalp, please. I don't like these bounces off the lows. Yeah, I'm going to sell there. Is that a break even? Yep. After a candle like that, you got to go right away, pal. I mean, I'm not even mad about that. There it goes. Damn. Does it tag the loan go right? Oh, man, that is robbery. That is, that is spooky. That is spooky. Oh, my God. That's terrifying. Whoa. Hey, NVIDIA. Gonna take one here. One in video to see if he wants to break this major level. AMD already going down. I don't have that much left, so I'm just gonna take one. And also, I don't want to jeopardize today. I mean, the market just had a giant dump. Is it gonna continue or what? Oh my god, dude. What is that for a surge? Are you kidding me? Anyway, nice day. 134. We take that, bro. My goodness. Catch you tomorrow. All right, Tuesday. Actually, a lot to play here. Stocks are surging. Let's see how we do. Let's go and we are open are you guys seeing this look at roblox oh roblox are you kidding me this looks like a plane and a half flag break above the range please work out roblox i mean look at this please yes don't break the highs and diddle please get me out on the ask bro i'm selling three here oh my god I'll take 24 bucks, dude. I mean, it was a perfect play, but look at these wicks. That's scary. What's Apple going to do here, guys? They're going to break and retest this? Candle under a candle, I'll probably get in here. I'm in there. Oh, I got in a little bit too early. No, I'm going to get out. I lost 20 bucks on that. I really thought we were going to get that surge down. I guess that was a good call. Jeez, yep, that was a great call. How does that play? Because we have a lot of wicks coming into here. Oh, actually, we do have the gap fill. So, okay. Actually, I can see that maybe gap fill, then we move back down. If anything, this is a sure thing buy on Tesla here. Maybe we wanted just a wick test here. Damn, I should have taken that, dude. I'm kind of pissed about that. Why didn't I take it? Jesus Christ. Guys, why didn't I take that? Easiest thing ever. I mean, there's no support besides the wick test. Look, the MAs are all the way down here. Whatever. 
four cents away. Now do I dump the rest of my cash and puts? That seems like a good decision. Honestly, I feel like I should because I mean, there hasn't been one red candle here. Take is starting to slow down. I feel like I want to. Yeah. I'm going to buy into three. Why not? Oh, sh guys, I'm a dummy. I just bought calls. Oh my God, bro. All right, into a put now. Getting under the nine. This is basically all I have left. I have a few more dollars, but after today's shit housery, I'm just going to take one. I mean, this is nuts. All we're asking for is one red candle here on the five minute at least. If it closes above the highs, I'm, I'm out. Closes below. Does momentum run out? Does it close above this high? Wicked, bro. Now I'm just trying to get a better sell. All right. L day, uh, $30 loss. Not so bad. I mean, who was expecting this move? Nobody. Kind of fumbled the bag with buying the calls instead of puts, but maybe it worked out in my favor. So anyway, still a green week, which is great. Let's hope that continues tomorrow. All right. See you then. All right, fellas, back on Wednesday. Looking at a few things here. A little bit of a move down here in the overall markets. Going to be keeping that on the side, but main watch is Tesla, GME, and AMD. Let's go. And we are open. So the idea behind Tesla is actually pretty good. If I bring you guys to the weekly, oh man, I hate how that moves. Uh, if I bring you guys to the weekly chart, basically a bear flag forming on the weekly right now. All of these wicks, especially yesterday, couldn't hold above this weekly pivot. So let's see how we do today. Wow, AMD, low key already about to provide us a trade. All right, do I want to take this? I'm gonna. Dip buy here on AMD off of a major, major level. Let's see if we can do it. Yeah, it wants to hold up. Jeez. Let's get above that opening range. I kind of want to join the ask on two. If we get a break of the ORB. All right, get me out of the market. What you got? IV is moving up. We don't want this to be a trend continuation down. We got to reverse it here. And this candle is not... Yeah. I'm going to get out there. So I walked away with 20 bucks. Bro, I thought we were going to just absolutely surge, but I guess not. Oh, AMD with the bounce. Look at this hold of AMD. You can pull it off. I'm going to get in here. Again, looking for the same play. This time, we're going to join the ask on three. Early this time. I don't want this to become a rejection again. This is crazy how AMD is not doing it right now. You got to go, bro. You gotta go. Look at the amount of open interest here. Five minute ORB up. I mean, this has to be it. Thank you. All right. Now we surge. I'm gonna sell one. If it goes back in the range, I'm a dude. That's crazy. It might hold it, but AMD, you could just tell it's not playing along today. That's fine. All right, up to 43 now. Not bad. All right, Tesla, perhaps wanting to hold the nine. Bollinger shooting straight up here. We did get a, a break above on this five minute and then a move down. I'm in there. This momentum's got to continue right now. Where does this candle close? About eight seconds here. Jesus Christ. Do we get the breakout? One at the highs. One more. Oh my God, what a move. What a catch, guys. I'm going to take profit. That was a wicked one. Whoo! $81 on that. Not so bad. Brought it up to 124 you know, guys, if GME can do a candle over candle above yesterday's close, I think I might get active there. Oh, snap. I'm in there at 70. A lot of volume just came through here. Yeah, rip. All right, how do I get out? What's the uh, 65? No, 61. All right, out there. Poor decision. Brought it down to 79. But, I mean, look at that volume. Maybe you guys can't see it. I don't know. That sold me. I'm going to take a Tesla call here. Oh, please don't do a foo foo break. Look at this setup. So candle over candle on the five is 227.44. Close slightly above it. Still above the nine. All right. Looks like it wants to do it on this candle already. we will love to see a move up to this monthly pivot. Because I mean, right now this, we're at a rejection area. A lot of wicks here. But we look strong. Bollinger's trying to close up a little bit. Let's get that nice move. Tesla's on a roll today. You got to get above these Bollinger's though. I mean, it's literally flatlining here. Oh, look at the market. That's not the best looking candle. All right. So we got a candle over candle fail as of right now on the five minute. But we're still holding above the one minute nine. We're coiling. Market's looking to do a three bar play as well, though. Oh, it doesn't want to do it. Okay, no. 
I'm gonna get it out there. Uh, I don't want to jeopardize today. Damn, walk away with only 41. That's annoying. Anyway, today was tough. Very slow price action. But uh, hey, we'll take it. We got back uh, yesterday's losses and then some. So still a nice week. More earnings to come tomorrow. I believe Meta is this afternoon. Yes. All right, so stay tuned. See you guys tomorrow. All right, Thursday. And talk about spooky. <laughs> Look where this spy rejected on the 180 chart, right off of that trend. So it looks bearish, right? But then we have Tesla trying to break above yesterday's range. AMD gap up, Nvidia gap up. Apple earnings later this afternoon. This is going to be wild. Let's go. And we are open. I'll probably load the 230s. Tesla could provide a nice opening range, which I would be interested to get in. I'm going to get in there. That's a giant candle. Looking to go from red to green. And there it goes. Get me out of the ass. That's three. Look at this catch. Let's hit the monthly pivot. Oh my god, what a play. How much are we up right now? We're up $500. $550. You got to be kidding me. I mean, we got to hold this, right? I want to sell into that monthly pivot. But we have the gap fill above it too. It's like, bro... All right, I'm just going to take profit. Oh my God. Oh my God. I needed a play like that. How much do we make? $524. And now it's setting up a three bar play. Now it looks insane. What did we get on the last sell? 571. It's already back to 610. I cannot believe we did that. Holy shit. Guys, drop an MF and like. Are you kidding me? $530? My account is finally big enough to do this kind of stuff. Yeah, I'm happy with the sell there. Oh. Well, AMD now maybe trying to retest this level. That could also be a play. Well, this hold again for AMD. Now I, I'd want to see a... Oh, we did get a candle under a candle. All right, I'm in here. I'm going to take uh, AMD calls. Quick stop out. Looking good so far. Looking for it to hold that level. Maybe break through the flag. I'm going to sell three. Guys, I'm so nervous. I'm like, I don't want <laughs> I don't want to mess up today. Great stuff though, nice. Starting to break out. We got five seconds left here in this five minute. If we can get a candle over a candle, we look real nice. Here we go. Bollinger starting to move up a little bit. I mean, look at this play. Fantastic looking. I don't want to overstay my welcome here. I kind of want my day to be done. I'm just going to sell one there. Yeah, markets aren't really having it right now. Fine with me, man. I'm happy to take profit. All right, guys, I think my day's done. I mean, the markets are kind of going in a different trend than I thought, and I don't want to kind of get in the way of this move right here. I mean, look at this chop, and then boom, see ya. NVIDIA dropping below that support. Tesla looks crazy. So, uh, yeah, guys, I think my day's done. I'm going to call it here. Absolutely fantastic day. $560. Holy shit. I'll see you guys tomorrow so we can close out this unbelievable week. All right, fellas. Friday. Let's go ahead and close out this week. Let's go. And we are open. So the only reason I got Amazon on my chart right now is for that retest of 101. So if we get that, we look fire. Other than that, Tesla, not really sure what to do here unless it's under here. And NVIDIA. Friday rules apply. Let's get a good win and get the hell out of here. Okay, guys. Amazon could provide something. Finally. Maybe the opening range down. We can load the 97s. I'll take a few here. Trying to get through that 98. There we go. Oh, what? Damn. We'll take it off there. That's a wicked bounce. 72 on that. No way. Bro, that freaks me out. That freaks me out. Look at that bounce. I'm into Tesla puts here. Actually breaking the flag. Looking for this thing to go lower. I got to sell three here, bro. This is wicked. Two left. Not looking to hold through a goddamn double bottom on a Friday. Gonna get out there. All right. We brought it back down to 40. And there it goes. God damn it, dude. I knew I should have held it, bro. Or you could just tell it's going down. Oh, man. If I held on for 0.5 seconds longer, man. Oh, my God, bro. I can't believe it. Oh. It would have been bigger than yesterday, probably. That's actually a good play, you know, 218, 20. I would love for Tesla to come back up here, retest the weekly pivot, and then we move back down. That would be a fire trade. Seems like it's coming in. How clean does it obey this level? This is the line we've been trying to play for Tesla to stay under. I mean, guys, this is the level. I'll bring you to the weekly chart. We got to stay under here. Closes above it. What do we do now? Candle under a candle, I'll get in. That's a nice close. I'm in there. In for the continuation. Here we go. This could seal it, guys. This could literally seal it. I'm going to sell two. Three left. Let's go, Tess. Selling one more. Stay under that nine. 
It's on one more. Got one left. I'm ready to take profit, bro, and get the hell out of here. This is nuts. How do we close? Decent. The center of the nine bullingers are opening right up for us. Candle under candle. Let's get it. Nice. I know the five minute looks whack, but this is a giant level for a reason. I want to see how this candle closes. 10 seconds. Interesting candle. Do we go now? Flattening in the nine. Let's get the sharp move now. Gonna get out. How much do we make? Oh, not bad. $63. We take it. Yeah, guys. Uh, I'm gonna call it here. What a day. What a comeback. Absolutely unbelievable profits this week. I'm gonna get out, edit this video, and play MW2 with the fellas. But before I let you go, guys, just want to say a massive thank you again for all the support. I mean, I never thought that in a year's time I would be averaging a thousand views a video. I mean, what? Thank you guys, for real. So definitely, if you guys enjoyed this video, drop me a like drop me a sub let me know what you guys thought about specific trades hopefully you guys had a nice week as well let me know it was absolutely crazy with the earnings moves that we saw i mean q4 is always crazy for trading so stay tuned thank you guys so much and i'll catch you next week take it easy